Good morning guys, welcome back. So today is a fishing derby. Never been in a fishing derby, never entered one. Don't even know how they work. But we're gonna take off, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go register for the derby. Started this morning at 6 a.m. and everybody's out already. I've never seen so many boats out on the lake already. Especially at like 6.30 in the morning. Crazy. So I got my breakfast ready to go. Got my tea ready to go. Got my wallet. We're gonna rip over to number two and we're gonna register for the derby. We're gonna figure out what it takes to enter the derby and what the rules are. Because do I have to bring the fish right back to them to show them before I clean them? Like, I don't know how that stuff works. So let's go learn together and figure it all out. <laughs> All right, welcome to Sugar Lake Derby. Gotta recharge them batteries, man. Those bananas just hit right. I feel like I'm rushed because there's so many people out there. But I don't have to worry because the lake is full of fish. <laughs> All right, second fish of the day. This one's a nice 12 inch rainbow. He was a good fighter, too. He, like, spun the boat around a couple times. But he's not quite the fish we're looking for, but he seems pretty alive and alert. So I think he's safe to release. And the other one was just a little guy. He, he was probably, like, nine inches. He was just a little bit longer than the span of my hand. All right, goody. Oh, by the way, I love this net. There you go. We'll catch you when you're bigger. As you can tell, I've got both hooks in the boat. One right here, and one right here. All right. So I did enter the rally. It was 15 bucks. I didn't need to bring my fishing license or anything like that. And just took my name, took my money, and I asked for all the rules. Obviously, you don't chop the head off, you don't gut it, you take it in, you get it weighed. The only thing that sucks is it's about a 15 minute boat ride. <laughs> but that's okay. I got the gas. If we catch any big fish, we'll take them in to get weighed. The only thing that sucks is I don't have any downriggers to get down and this lake's over 250 feet deep. As you can tell, all my reels need some grease or a little bit of oil. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in the next wee few weeks is oiling and greasing all of my reels because it sounds horrible. Oh, just a little guy. Well, it's not that one. You good to go? Go ahead. You're free. There you go. <gasps> one almost in the boat. One more in the boat. Nothing's gonna win me a derby though. Well, that was crazy. I was just putting a worm on the hook and BAM! Hello, good sir. I don't know how much I recorded earlier when I was recording a video. It totally just overheated and shut off, which was to be expected. I just didn't know when it shut off. Caught a total of seven fish today, ranging between nine and 12 inches. None of them trophy keepers. I did overhear somebody saying they caught a 
four pound, I think it was, at 80 feet in between here and just over there, maybe somewhere. Come, I don't know, around where I'm camping, anyways. Which sucks, because I keep saying that I'm pretty sure I need a downrigger to catch a big fish in this lake. Keep saying that for a while. But I kill, I still keep trying. I mean, I did catch two. But that was uh, a couple of years ago, I think. But I've never caught a big other than that. And I've been here almost like 30 years. But yeah, I'm gonna continue fishing. After this, I'm gonna go have some dinner, enjoy a hot tub, and that'll be my night tonight. And the first night of the fishing derby. That's nothing too exciting, I mean, just catching a fish if it's you know a big one that I want to submit to the derby got a race over there which takes about 10-15 minutes by gas powered motor and hand it to the ladies and they'll weigh it and measure it and put it into the logs to say that's what I caught caught two fish in the last little um, hour or so maybe we'll catch one or two more Maybe we'll catch a prize fish, who knows? So at this point in the day, I've been fishing for just over seven or eight hours. So I'm exhausted. I've been in the sun all day. The battery died on the camera. It overheated a couple times and it was just the end of the day. Hopefully tomorrow after a good night's rest, we'll have some more luck. Maybe not, who knows? Stay tuned, we'll find out. Well, good morning. It's day two of our fishing derby expedition, adventure, whatever you want to call it. I'm just having just a little bit of oatmeal and some breakfast and some strawberries and bananas. But once I'm done, we're going to head out in a boat. There's already three people on the lake already. There's probably more, but I can only see three right now. There's probably a couple more down there. So I feel like I'm late to the party already. And the fish are biting. As I heard somebody swearing because they had a bite and they probably lost it. Well, I don't expect to win anything, but why not keep trying? I mean, what's the harm in trying? I rolled over at 5.30 this morning, looked at my phone, I'm like, okay, time to get up. And then I closed my eyes for two seconds trying to wake up. And I look at the clock next, and it's 11 after 6. So I'm already 40 minutes late. I'm already getting out on the lake. I could be out there right now fishing. That's all right. I'm still having fun. Fish number one. Looks like he's got damage to his eye. Looks like he's got some battle wounds on the back of his back. He's got some scratches and stuff. This guy's got some stories to tell. See you later. So right now, I count about 12 boats on the lake. And there's only about two little guys like me, but they're bigger boats than I am. They're like 12 foot boats or something like that. So I definitely think I'm a little bit out of my class in 
winning this derby, that's for sure. Everybody's got pontoon boats and actual big fishing boats with downriggers. Everybody's got downriggers. I think I've only seen three P three boats out of like thirty without downriggers. That's crazy. Check this out. A swarm of birds eating bugs. I was gonna say fishing's not that great, and then I got a freaking bite before I even turned on the camera. So I have had one fish in. No, I've had. I've had two fish in the boat. I've had a couple bites here and there, and I've had a couple really good fish on the hook right up to the boat, but they got off right at the last second, of course. Which is, to be fair, like, part of fishing, right? But other than that, it's been a pretty darn good day. It hasn't been too hot yet, but I mean, it's only, yeah, it's only 11, almost 11 o'clock, so. It's been a pretty darn good day. But I have had heard a few from other people that his fishing's a little bit slow today, so. Just about the end of day two. Well, for me anyways, I'm gonna go pull it in. Oh, look, just a little gun. Just a little to be, that's why I didn't even feel him. Plus he was probably swimming with it. And he got himself off the Nice. Ugh. All right, all right, stop splashing. I can't pick him up, he's so small. Hey. Well, just a little guy. Hey, he's so slippery. All right, I don't wanna squeeze you to death. All right, there you go. So that concludes my day for today. I caught seven fish. That was my seventh fish today. Caught three this morning, three this afternoon. We're gonna go back in, we're gonna eat some dinner and probably have a shower once the sun goes down. Enjoy a little fire. Maybe my last marshmallow. I did request marshmallows, but I didn't get any. But I got graham crackers and chocolate, so can't quite mix. That's all. That's going to be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. home anyways. Alright, today is the last day of the Fish and Derby. Welcome back. Well, for you guys it was just like that. <laughs> for me, I had a great sleep. Woke up nice and early. Got a little bit of an overcast today. Maybe the fish will bite today. It'll be better today. As soon as I put this rod, got like a bite instantly. And then a few minutes later, got another bite. And they took my entire worm. Didn't even get him in the boat. But I haven't catched any trophy fish. I did catch 12 inch, a couple 12 inches yesterday. I think three, two or three. Maybe it was just slightly under 12, I don't know, 11 and a half, one of them anyways. But yeah, doing pretty good. 
competition wise, not the derby wise. Regardless, I'm thankful to be out here fishing. I'm thankful to be even in a derby for once. I've never been in one. an extra battery. Second fish of the morning. Check this guy out. He's got something up with his back fin. Just hold on. It looks like half his fin was just ripped off. Poor little guy. But he's not that big. He's like, what, 10 inches? Maybe 10 and a half? Not very big. But he's very alive, alert, and ready to go fight another day. Bye, buddy. We'll catch you when you're a little bit bigger. I don't know what the heck happened to his tail. Like he was just caught by something. It's not like there's any sharks in the water to eat him, so. <laughs> All right. All right. This is the fourth fish today. This guy's not even that big. It's just a little guy. Maybe nine and a half, ten inches. Not a bad fish, but uh Yeah, I'm just gonna let him go. He's good. My little buddy. But yeah. That's the end of the derby because I don't see a single person. No, I think I see two people on the lake, one person on the lake. That's it. So I'm gonna go look it up on the internet. I think it's pretty much over. It probably ended at noon. I now have fish to show for it. I didn't get any prize trophy fish at all, which sucks, but that's all right. I had a great time. I had a blast. I don't know. I, th I think it was just great seeing that many boats out on the lake and having to navigate in between, you know, these massive boats. Some of them were huge and they probably had sleeping cabins and toilets and all the fun stuff couple smaller boats, couple really fancy boats, couple boats with massive rods sticking out the top, like just amazing. But what I also realized was 36 out of 40 of those boats had downriggers on them. I've probably mentioned downriggers probably like 10 times this entire episode. So I'm just gonna shut up on the downrigger. Yeah, I'm going to buy one one day, so maybe two. <laughs> one for each side of the boat so I can double my chances like everybody else. <laughs> Some people had three rods out the back of their boats. I don't know how they do that with downriggers and all that stuff. and Trying to put weights on and clips and setting that. I don't know how they do it. Would be cool to go on one of those boats one day 
just to see how they do it. They run everything. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Well, this fishing derby episode. It's I, I've had a blast. I, I got to talk to a couple of the guys. I overheard a lot of the conversation. A lot of the guys had radios, walkie talkies, and they were talking back and forth. You can hear them talking and stuff. They were out there to like late at night you can hear them swearing and screaming like i got one yeah and buddy's like good job that's awesome and oh it was uh quite something else all right guys we'll see you guys in the next episode we're here for another four days and then we're gonna pack up we're gonna take off we're gonna hit the next lake we're gonna go try at another prize trophy fish <laughs> the very next day. So this is the fourth largest fish I've caught here in Sugar Lake. 14 inches from tail to nose. From tail to nose or chin or whatever. 14 inches on my river rod that I got when I was like probably like 10 or 9 years old or something like that. So it's like almost a 30 year old rod but she's still kicking. Time to go clean this bad boy. Don't want to put that on YouTube. I might get demonetized, I guess. I don't know. Well, the meat's not quite as pink as the other place that we caught the fish at. What was it? Uh, Cobb Lake, I think it was. And Osprey Lake and Island Lake. They have some beautiful orange meat. This isn't quite as colorful. Um, it's probably because this is a man-made lake, but I'm going to take this home and share it with my family. They will enjoy it. <laughs> Barely fits in the bag. Almost had to clip your tail to fit you in the bag. <laughs> ah, well. Fortunately, we're going to have to freeze you. Because I don't think you'll last till I go home. It's a super exciting catch like almost caught probably 40 fish just to get this one little guy so it's nice to actually put it in the boat take her home even though I probably could have took home like probably about six or seven more fish we'll see you guys in the next episode peace out